guys, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call Mr. M. Let's mark up your math skills today. This video is about the domain and range of a function. What is a domain and what is a range? Let me give you a definition of these two terminologies. Domain is a set of all the first components in an ordered pair. Range is a set of all the second components in an ordered pair. Domain is a set of all x-coordinates or abscissa of the points on the graph. And lastly, range is a set of all y-coordinates or ordinate of the points in the graph. How do we write down the domain and range of a function? We write down the domain and range of a function using interval notation. An interval notation is commonly used when it is impossible to write down all the numbers individually. It is a way of writing a set of numbers using brackets or parentheses. How do I identify the domain and range of a given set of ordered pairs in a mapping diagram? If it is possible to list down all the elements representing the domain and range, we use braces to enclose these elements. For a mapping diagram, we simply list down the elements in the first set or set X for the domain. Then, the elements in the second set or set Y represent the range. Take note that we use braces to enclose the elements of the domain and range. For a set of ordered pairs, we simply list down the first elements or the x values for the domain, then the second elements or the y values represent the range. Take note that we use braces to enclose the elements of the domain and range. Now, let's check the method on how to write down or identify the domain and range of a graph. If the graph function is given, we have to know the following notations and symbols. The first inequality notation means that all real numbers x greater than a but less than b. This is how we write it down in interval notation. Open parenthesis a, comma, b close parenthesis. This is how it looks like in the graph. For the second inequality notation, all real numbers x greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b. This is how we write it down in interval notation. Open bracket a, comma, b close bracket. And this is how it looks like in the graph. For the third one, it means that all real numbers x greater than or equal to a but less than b. And this is how we write it down in interval notation. And this is how it looks like in the graph. For the fourth one, it means all real numbers x greater than a but less than or equal to b. We write it down in interval notation using open parenthesis a, comma, b, close bracket. And this is how it looks like in the line graph. The fifth inequality notation means that all real numbers x greater than a, which is represented by the interval notation, open parenthesis a, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis, and this is how it looks like in the graph. The next one means that all real numbers greater than or equal to a, which is represented in interval notation using open bracket a, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis, and this is how it looks like in the graph. Next, it means that all real numbers x less than a, which is represented by this interval notation, and by this graph. Next, we have all real numbers x less than or equal to a, which is represented by open parenthesis negative infinity, comma, a close bracket. And this is how it looks like in the graph. The ninth one means all real numbers, or the set of all real numbers which is represented by open parenthesis negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis. And this is how it looks like in the graph. And lastly, this means that all real numbers x except a, which is represented in interval notation using open parenthesis negative infinity, comma a, close parenthesis, union of open parenthesis a, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis, and this is how it looks like in the graph. Take note of the following. For the interval notation, use parenthesis to indicate that the lower or upper bounds are not included, and use bracket to indicate that the lower or upper bounds are included in the graph. For the line graph, the hollow circle means that the lower or upper bounds are not included in the graph, whereas the solid circle means that the lower upper bounds are included or part of the graph. And here are some examples. For the first example, the graph extends infinity to the right and to the left, as well as upwards and downwards. 
Thus, the domain and range are the set of all real numbers represented in interval notation by open parenthesis negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis. For example, 2. For the domain, the graph extends infinity to the left and right of positive 2, but not including 2. This is represented by this interval notation. Take note that we will use parentheses to indicate that 2 is not part of the graph. For the range, the graph extends infinity upward and downward of positive 1, but not including 1. This is represented by this interval notation. Just like the domain, we will use parentheses to indicate that 1 is not part of the graph. For example, 3. Since the graph extends infinity to the left and right, the domain is a set of all real numbers. However, the range starts at negative 2, including negative 2, and goes up infinitely. The interval notation is represented by open bracket negative 2, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis. For the last example, the domain is from negative infinity and stops at 0, not including 0, and then continues to positive infinity. This is represented by this interval notation. However, the range starts from negative 4, not including negative 4, then continues upward until 0 and including 0, then jumps to 1, including 1, and goes up infinitely, which is represented by this interval notation. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something today. See you in my next video. Bye! Hey, no, no, no.